Hello, and welcome to Minerals, Rocks, and Fossil Talks. I am your geology teacher, Jen. I'm telling you, this green screen does funky things to my hair now that I've cut it. Anyway, let's talk about magma versus lava. Now, I will often hear magma and lava used interchangeably by non-geologists, which isn't necessarily entirely wrong, but it's not really correct either. They are different. Just from the standpoint of that magma is a word that geologists use to refer to molten rock that is beneath Earth's surface, and lava is molten rock that has been erupted on Earth's surface. So why do we differentiate between the two? Well, the location dictates different characteristics and behaviors of the molten rock. For example, magma is typically associated with high temperatures and pressures. It cools slowly and it may contain volatiles. On the other hand, lava is associated with lower temperatures and pressures and it cools rapidly thanks to contact with the atmosphere or water. And it releases volatiles through violent eruptions. So think Coke explosion with Mentos. Now it's just a short post today. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory once you say lava and magma and all that. But there will be more associated with that that we'll talk about later next week. So make sure to keep watching. And tune in tomorrow to take a look at another important scientist who revolutionized volcanology. So, fossilage later.